Today, I literally almost said, happy Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Monday repeated, Monday, Tuesday, and then it's Wednesday. But it is hump day. <laughs> hump day. Happy hump day. <laughs> Listen, I we're halfway through the week. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that makes me excited because Praise. tomorrow is weekend eve. Yes. <laughs> the eve of the weekend. <laughs> um, and... We have a great, oh goodness gracious, my um, <laughs> my sound is on on my computer. <laughs> I can barely hear it if it makes you feel well, better. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, drop us an emoji if you are watching us live. We want to see how many friends we have with us so far. Um, yes. We have an absolutely amazing craft to bring mm -hmm. you all today. So cute. So, a little backstory on Alicia. She is a... Sign like a she's a painter first. I of feel all. like I'm a sign maker. A would sign be a maker from title. way back, right? Yeah. Yes, sign a, maker is like current. my first crafting. Yes, and current. Yes. So the sign that she is doing for you guys today, amazing. So cute. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Yeah. Um, it's adorable. It would be a great teacher gift, mm -hmm. which is what you're kind of moving toward. Is more like a teacher gift. Yeah. Um, the technique and, though, you could use. For, you could like substitute teacher things and put in other fonts and texts and whatever. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. It's We're a lot having of fun. so many friends drop us emojis telling us they're here with us live. We oh, are is so it excited. popping up? Over oh, here? yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I, I wasn't showing. On, that one's not showing for some reason, but over here huh. we can see it. There's lots. We have yeah. so many friends here with Welcome. us. Yes. So we are, tell us a little bit about the idea and the brainstorming behind your this sign that we're making today um well i really wanted to show everybody how to do the curve text that was like that was like the main thing that's where we started and then i thought oh we could do it like on a cute little sign and then somehow it developed into a teacher sign and, and it's a big, a big sign but yes really cute and sign. actually this design started out as a t-shirt design like I, in my brain i was like we're gonna do a, a wrap text and we're gonna do it on a t-shirt and then i was like nope we're putting it on a sign which naturally i'm gonna gravitate to making signs because that's my heart and soul but but. <laughs> I, but i think that it's one of those like it's a classic if you are a crafter and you have mm -hmm. kids in school grandkids in school um, or you just have teacher friends. Yeah. This is a great gift to make for your teacher friends mm -hmm. um, so that they can hang it on the door because it's one of those like they can leave hanging up all year round. This is like an impressive gift. And if, if you give this to your teacher oh, friend, yes. they're going to be like, dang, like that's fancy. Being a, being a teacher <laughs> once before, like if I would have gotten this when I was a teacher, like I would have been like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like you, this is so thoughtful. It but is. it's super easy. Mm -hmm. Very, Very easy. simple. Yeah. Um, and I'm really, really excited for you guys to see this. Yes. Um, we will be using Makers Gonna Learn fonts, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. So what we've got going on right now, we do have a deal. I know yesterday in the live, I was kind of, you know, I wasn't sure what code we were using if we were using a code. So today, and Sadie has pinned that. We are mm -hmm. using, if you want to become a Makers Gonna Learn yearly member, you can become a yearly member today for $20 off. So if you'll click that link and then scroll down, and if you'll click the middle button, and Alicia can show you, she'll, she can walk you through, we'll, we'll yeah. help you. Yeah. Um, and then at the bottom of that page where you sign up for a yearly member, if you use the code MAKE, you get $20 off today. And that's just for today. Yes. Um, we decided to kind of do that for you guys since yesterday was a little hectic. We were kind of like iffy about it. But so mm -hmm. today is $20 off. Um, and that brings that price down to one seventy one eighty eight. So that's And that a, gives them like commercial access, right? Commercial With the yearly the yearly to, membership, you get the commercial so you can sell, make as much as your heart desires. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So Guess we should go start. I think we, Get right into I think it. we need to show them this craft because I really think they're going to enjoy it. Yeah, it's so cute. Okay, let me go. Let me go over to our little craft table. Let's see. Are we on one? Okay, this is it. I'm going to lift it off of the stand just so you guys can see it like right in full focus. And we were just talking about before the live how well this looks in our lighting. Yes. I don't know if it's like the backdrop colors or what, but. These colors just pop really well, and I love mint and coral together. 
Um, but actually the one we're going to be making today is going to be uh, black, orange, and white. So you'll get to see a couple different variations of what we're going to do. But first, I'm going to show you guys all of the supplies you're going to need to do this project. It's really not a lot. We're using chalk paint, which is like my fave. If you're a crafter, you probably get it. Like I love, love chalk paint. It dries fast and all that. So maybe let's go overhead. And so I already painted the round. This is um, just like a wooden round from Hobby Lobby. And I actually want to say it's like a tray. You could use it as a tray. Like you could put handles on this which would also be really cute gift. Oh, absolutely. Like if you turn this into like a little tray with a, with a wedding name on it, like a married name for a wedding yes. gift, I think that'd be cute. Um, but I went ahead and painted this and I used this chalk and mineral paint from Starcraft in black. And then we're gonna be doing the middle circle in this gray. And then I'm using our outer text. I've already cut it. Um, I have not weeded it yet, but we'll go through that. And I'm going to do this on the outer edges. And then this is actually stencil vinyl. And I don't know, I've never used this, uh, the star mask stencil vinyl, but it feels like super good quality. So this is what we're going to use for our circle. Um, I'll show you guys how I do it. And there are a couple different ways that you can do it. I'll show you how I do it though. And then I've already weeded and cut out our name. And so this name and the words around it are gonna be heat transfer vinyl, which makes the lines and the text look super neat and clean, which I really like. Um, but I guess we'll go ahead and jump into design space and we'll start there so I can show you guys kind of how I do things. Well, I need to get logged in, I guess. There we go. Okay. So I am over in Makers Gonna Learn right now. Um, the fonts, we're gonna go ahead and get our fonts just to start. That way we've got all the tools that we need and we can go ahead when we get into design space and start. It might load. It's loaded. Oh, it's loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was waiting on. It literally says <laughs> Y'all just ignore me, okay? You're pulling a Laura into this. Yeah, yeah. I think you passed it on to me. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so our first font is the Fierce Sites font, and I'm just going to type it in because it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to use these fonts. This is just um, what I like to use. If I can type it right, Fierce Sites. I use this font on a regular basis. This is probably one of my favorite ones. And then you're just gonna click on this. And if you're familiar, then you already know this step, but I wanna be able to show people that haven't actually seen the website how to like access all these fonts. And then you'll download it, come down here. And I think we've already downloaded this font, but you just pull this up, unzip the file, where did it go? And then you install the font. And then whenever you go into design space, it's already going to be in there. You may have to like refresh the screen. I think we were reloading the screen and then it mm -hmm. would go in. Yeah. So I'm going to minimize that. And then the other font, I cannot remember the name of that font right now. Why am I blanking on that font? It's a script. So, and you don't have to use the same exact script that I used. Um, we can, you can pick any script. It's going to look really pretty in this. I used like a brushed script. So it looks almost like someone took a paintbrush really fast and kind of brushed it over everything. But I'm going to hop into design space and you guys will be able to actually see what font I use because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember which one I used. I go through a thousand fonts because yeah, I know. of who I am as a person. I'm trying to find it for you. <laughs> I have it in design. I wrote down the one because I was like, I know I'll forget it if I get if I start talking to everybody and trying to tell them what I want, I'll forget it. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down. I made this project like a thousand years ago. So it's all the way down here. Let's just save. Just kidding. Let's just replace. Because we have tons of those. There it is and all its glory. So I've already, this is like where we're gonna get to. I'm gonna kind of walk you guys how to get to this place. This is like the final product. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that all of my fonts are in here. Did you find that font by chance? Um, 
It's okay. No. You, yeah, you keep looking and I'll just keep, keep doing this. Okay. So whenever I download fonts and when I come back into design space, I'll go up here to view and reload and that will like reset my design space and basically it'll load in any fonts that you downloaded. I don't know. I didn't know that when I first started doing the Cricut thing. Well, but I think now that's I know. a new, that was a semi new design space. Uh, like an update? Yeah, because oh, used to, okay. like right before you started, we always would close stuff out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and we're going to start um, with our text. So we're going to start with this text right here. So I'm just going to do a text box. And we're going to do the top half. So believer, and I'm going to put two spaces in between each word. That way we can put our little dot. I don't know if you want to call it a dot or a circle or whatever. And design space is going to try to put a period after that first word. I don't know why, because it's not a full sentence. Um, and then we're going to select our font, which is the fierce sites. And then I'm going to kind of, I'm going to pull it down so you guys can see what's going on up here. So depending on the size of your sign is going to decide what size uh, font that you're going to use. But I am using, I want to say this is like 18 and a half. My round is 18 and a half. So my font ends up having to be like 97. The font size is like 97.5 or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I know that's how big it needs to be. And then this is like the big part. I feel like people that use Design Space a lot know this trick, but if you're new, you might have never even noticed this little curve up here. This is like what we're learning today. This is gonna make the project. So I'm gonna come up here and you can move this little circle this way or this way. Magic, right? You can literally like loop it all the way around. That's so satisfying. I know. <laughs> like I to make it. a whole circle, it's so satisfying. So um, you'll have to fidget around with it a little bit and I'll show you guys like we're, we're gonna have to adjust it a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and arch it like, I think I did like 15 and I only know this because I've already done it. So you can click in there and change it to 15. But you wanna remember what number you use because when we do this bottom curve, we want it to be the same, I wanna say angle, but the same like curve amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my bottom text and we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go the opposite direction. So innovator, and then I'm gonna put two spaces and it's gonna put a period and we're gonna act like that didn't happen and <laughs> erase it. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing. So I'll pull it down here. Let's see, am I going too fast? Are you guys like? I think everybody is, I've not seen anybody ask questions or say, hey, slow down. So okay. if you all need Alicia to slow down or you have any questions, definitely pop those in the chat. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to check out those chats to make sure yes. um, that we are up up to speed. Everybody must be being very attentive. Yeah. So at this point, the only question <laughs> the only question we had is Nate asked, "Does Mac and PC work the same for Design Space?" Um, I'm pretty sure it does work almost the exact same. Mm -hmm. The only difference may be like uploading the files into Design Space might be a little bit different. But as far yeah. as Design Space itself, it's the same. We only use iOS operating systems here. Yeah. Um, so. I'm not really 100% sure how um, I would think Windows. across the across the board because uh, it's online. Yeah, I, mean, I would think it would be the same. It would be the same. It, the only difference would be the uploading the file. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this bottom text, I put in negative 15. So remember up here, our curve was 15 and somehow we got a point zero zero one. Uh, but down here, I'm going to put in I don't even have to move this. You can literally just plug in negative 15 and it's going to do an exact, exact like angle. I, that's not the word I'm looking for, but you guys know what I'm saying. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're, you're just basically, you're typing the opposite, Uh huh. which, so if you have a positive integer or a positive number, yes. sorry, the math teacher's coming out in me. A positive integer. <laughs> I've heard that word. It, in it's years. the blazer. It's, it's the, the blazer. blazer. It must be. <laughs> so 
So if you do a positive, to get the opposite, you're going to need to do a negative. Yeah, there you go. You just took the words right out of my mouth, except you're I would welcome. have never said that because you're way smarter than I. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I made, I forgot to size my text up, so my curve is now like wider. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to 15. So we are back where we need to be. Oh, did it go? Yeah, it did. Okay. And then, so it's kind of hard to tell right now. It doesn't look like it's lined up and that's fine. What you're really going to need to do is grab a circle and we're just going to kind of pull it out and fit it right in there. So you can kind of nestle it. And there's lots of like finagling you have to do here. So you just kind of play around until you get it spaced out how you want. And we got to remember that we're putting a name right here in the middle. So you don't want to do, it doesn't need to be touching. Like it doesn't need to go all the way around. We want to leave a space right here through the middle. So I'm going to wrap this more because it's obviously like not, not working. So question, and this is just for our friends while you wrap that text, you curve it. Yeah. Did you start out using a, like a circle to find out what size your text and everything needed to be? Did you start out yes, with a circle? Yes, and you know what? That's a good point. The yes. size let's, of your actual round. Yes, so let's do that. I'm sorry. That's probably confusing you all. So I'm going to go up here, and my circle that I'm using is 18 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to make that black just so we can see everything on top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and send it to the back. And oopsie. And then I'm going to drag it down here. And then let me make my text up here, this mint color. That way you can see it. So yes, I already knew my font sizes, but if you didn't know that, which you wouldn't, you wouldn't if you're just starting from scratch. So basically you're going to draw a circle the size of your backer. So if you have an 18 inch wood round, go ahead and make this 18 inches and then you can size your text up until it fits how you want it to fit. So if you were doing a smaller one, it, let's just say a 10 inch wood round, you would make that black circle 10, 10 inches, inches mm -hmm. and then fit your text according. Yes. And then also if you wanted to make that, this is just for our friends to kind of give them an idea if they wanted to make it their own. If you wanted to make that inner circle smaller, yeah, you could. You could do a shape. You could do a monogram. Yeah. Like if you wanted to just do a monogram and then wrap like a wedding date or an estate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could do so many different things with this. There's, I have so many like fun ideas for this type of design. So yeah, if you want to make this smaller, you can. Um, I like to fill it up. I like to fill up as much space as I can. I just like that style. Um, and like I said, you may have to finagle this a little bit um, to get it correctly. And then we're going to go in here and I'm going to do Miss Johnson. And the sign we're making, the sign I'm going to make in front of you guys is Miss Nichols. So <laughs> don't get confused. Lori asked us how we we're getting to the dots. So do, hold on to that thought, Lori, because she's going to show you how to get those in just a second. Yes, the dots in between the letters. Yes. Where did my, there it is. That was weird. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, I it's did. fine. It's fine. We're continuing. I did. Okay. What did font? Was it indigo? No. It starts with a C. I know it starts with a C. Okay. Let's just come up here and pick Let's a pretty just script. Let's a C. Yeah. Type we can in a C. Type a C and search it. Because if it wasn't in this design space already, it would have popped up on the top and said that you have you had to download that font. Yes. Um, I put it, it's on my computer out there, but I just didn't drag it in here for some reason. I'm just going to pick a pretty script font on here just so I can kind of show you guys because it's not really, is this it? Did I pick it? No, but that's cute. I do like that. I'll We're going like to use this just for the sake of the video. So I'm going to use this script font and you just kind of squeeze this in here however it's going to fit. And like I said, this, like you're going to have to move stuff around. So my innovator is kind of bumping into my name. So you can take this and like rotate it a smidge and then pull it and then pull it up. And it really, you just have to keep working with it. You can even make this a little bit smaller. I do like that it goes over the edges of that inner circle, if that makes sense. I like how it kind of like overflows over that middle circle. Right. And then 
We'll put this here and I'm gonna make that a different color just so we can see it. I flipped my colors on you guys. I hope that, is that confusing for everybody or should I just, let's It'll just, be fine. okay. I'm just gonna change it because I already <laughs> started. Okay, anyway, so there's, that's how you're gonna do your round text. So after that, you're basically just gonna send it to your machine. I did use um, heat transfer vinyl for uh, the wrapping words and the Miss Johnson. And then we're actually gonna paint this middle circle. So what you're gonna do is cut all of your files, make sure you're using, um, can we go to the screen right here? Okay, okay. Make sure that you guys are using heat transfer vinyl and you're mirroring your image. So whenever you go to make it, you're gonna click mirror and you're gonna make sure that your heat transfer vinyl is shiny side down. Otherwise, you're gonna be cutting like the totally wrong side, which I do all the time because I just didn't like that. <laughs> so um, let's go overhead and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the inner circle. So what I do to start um, I've got my Cricut mini press over here. I don't think I showed this in my supplies. Did That's I? Okay. So Cricut mini press, this is what I'm going to use to apply my heat transfer vinyl. Um, I want to say you could, can you use like an iron? Could you use an iron? The, it wouldn't so work as problem, well. The problem with, some people <clears throat> use irons. Um, the problem with a lot of irons is they don't get hot enough. Yeah, um, yeah. I think so, I've had that issue in the past before too. Because when I first started using die cutting machines, um, Cricut, Silhouettes, all this stuff, and I was trying to make t-shirts like the first t-shirt I used, I thought, yeah, I'm going to use that iron. Like, I don't have to go buy that. Um, <laughs> you sound like me. I'm just okay. going to use what I have. Like, yeah, yeah. Duh, that makes sense. Um, and my vinyl, my heat transfer vinyl started coming up off the shirt like as I was wearing it for the first time. Oh no. Because it didn't get hot enough. Yeah. So. Yeah, it doesn't like, if you use just a regular iron, it's not gonna fuse to whatever you're applying it to basically. Right. And you know, I just now started using heat transfer on wood. I didn't even know that you could do that. And I, like I said, I've been making signs forever. I had no <laughs> idea. And this is one of my favorite techniques because I feel like it makes your, one, it like is permanent. I feel like it's not gonna come off. It literally fuses to the wood. Right. And another thing that I like about it is that it's very crispy. Like the so text is crispy. so crisp so and I crispy. love that. Yeah, I think it just makes it look really good. So right now I'm just weeding my HTV because um, we were having some technical difficulties earlier. If you guys were at our live yesterday, you know that everything's been going wrong. Yeah. So we're, you know, we're out here. So we did have a friend ask us, what does the mirroring do? So when you are using heat transfer vinyl to cut that heat transfer vinyl, it's basically like it has um, the, it's <laughs> the transfer tape. Oh, why did I, I almost said adhesive tape. It has, it is like built-in transfer tape. So it's already you, on there. It's already yeah. on there. So you turn it upside down to cut it. So when you mirror it and flip it back the right way, it's the way you need it to be. Yes. So like if you cut it on the top, it's it's not going to work. Like even if you yeah. go to try to iron it on anything, it's just not going to work. So we also had a friend ask us if we were still using Cricut HTV. I don't know. I don't think this one is. This is not. The one that she's using today is not Cricut HTV. We have so many different HTVs in our um Craft room. Craft room. I couldn't tell you which one's cricket. They're all they're, mixed together. They're all mixed together. They're we, all, we. We don't discriminate we don't on discriminate. heat transfer vinyls. No. I'll just put it that there way. There are others that I like better. Yeah, but yeah. But we still don't discriminate. Yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we did that. Sorry about that. That should have already been done. Um, and you're going to go ahead and just kind of push that to the edge. If you didn't do this, make sure you kind of cut like an even, as even of a line as you can right there on that bottom edge. That's gonna help you line this up really good. And so if you haven't used heat transfer vinyl before, um, this clear film is sticky. So it's gonna stick down to your, whatever you're applying it to. You can use this technique on a t-shirt still too, or whatever, whatever that you can attach heat transfer vinyl to. Um, and it's gonna work just fine. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the top edge. We're just gonna weed it and then we're gonna stick it up there. And I think my iron just beeped, so it's ready to go. I'm just gonna peel this off. 
We also, let's see. Crispy. Yeah. Crispy. Do me a favor. What? Here, let me, are we still overhead? Let's stay overhead for just a second. I'm gonna try something real quick. Let's do it. I find HTV on wood so much easier. Yes, I think HTV on wood is super easy. I'm and if you. To, what? Did you attach these? You welded them together. That's why I can't click on that. Yes, that's why we can't put the font on there. That's why we can't. Yes. So we had a friend say, uh, click that, click on your font, and it'll tell you what it is, but where you did that well. Yes. So this was like yeah. whenever I first started, which was not long ago, um, this was like, I think, the first project that I made, and I was brand new to Cricut, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, I was yeah, brand no, new to Cricut. You were, so uh, <laughs> to give you all a little bit of a backstory, Alicia's first week, if you all have been around you may remember um but her first week was the week that um basically everybody was in quarantine everybody everyone except was for me and lauren and sadie right um and uh, <laughs> alicia had never used a cricket before no nope. um she used used the u.s cutter correct yes the u.s cutter is what i have at home yes so, I mean, it's not like she's, she knows the die cutting world. She knows all of this stuff, but she had never used a Cricut before. Or design space. Or had ever been in design space. Yeah. So, I like, I'm still learning. Like, I didn't know. Have you even been here a month? Uh, yeah. I think it's like right at a month. So, right at a month. Yeah. We're like right at a month. But I just, I forget things like welding them before you cut it. And then, like, for us, for the sake of video, sometimes you can duplicate it. That way, when we open up the video, the font is right there. Like, yeah. this is a perfect example of why we should duplicate our files. That way, we know. Oh, are we out of Are we out of video? Okay, there we go. So, I've already got these weeded. Sorry, that took forever. Um, and we're going to go ahead and iron these down. So, I'm going to start with the top one. I'm going to do this before before we do the middle circle. So explain to us why you're putting the text down before we're painting the middle circle. Um, because I want to, I don't remember why I did that really. Make sure you I, line up, are, are you try, doing it to make sure the text and the circle line up together and you yeah. have enough room for the text? Yes, we, yes, because if for some reason, if you like accidentally made this a little bit bigger, you can kind of make your circle smaller. Right, yes. I'm trying to think. Did I do it the other way around? Did I do my circle first? I was not here. <laughs> Let's just do our circle first, everybody. Forget what I said, okay? So we're going to start with our circle. We're going to paint our circle. That way it has some time to dry and all that good stuff, okay? So uh, what we have right here, this is our stencil vinyl, and you can't see it on here, but there are half circles cut out. So with the Cricut, you're only able to cut so big. Um, so what I did was basically just put two halves of a circle and cut them out. And what I'm going to do is put them onto my board. That's what I did. Now I'm remembering. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do the text first because it's hard to line up your circle if you don't put the text first. That's what I was thinking. I knew but I had you, a reason, you guys. You okay. don't ne never, ever, ever second guess yourself. I was not asking you that to make you second guess yourself. <laughs> I was like, is this a trick question? I can't I was, remember. I was asking you that so our friends would know mm -hmm. exactly why we are doing what we were doing. Yes. Okay. So the reason, let me give you a proper answer now. I feel like I'm on Miss USA and I just said the wrong thing. You know how they do the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically we're going to put the text on here because if we did the circle first, it's a lot harder to line up the circle without the text, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay. Let's put this on here. And I just kind of lined it up as close to the edge as I could. And just be careful not to let it move after you've ironed it down. I love this orange on the black. That definitely makes it pop. Um, Caitlin's like, do you know Miss Johnson? And I was like, no, nope, I just made it up. I don't know anybody <laughs> named Miss Johnson. I mean, I know Miss Johnson's, but I don't know if I know any that are teachers. So we're doing this one for a teacher that we actually know. And it's Caitlin's mama. 
Caitlin's mom is a teacher. So this are, these are her school colors. So I think that's really cute way to customize it. You can use whatever colors, like if you are doing this for a teacher, you could use the school colors. I think that's really cute. Or a lot of teachers have like, um, like themes. Did you yes. have a theme? Um, no. You didn't? Well, I wasn't in the classroom long enough to really get into that. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I ended up going um, with a... Uh, 4-H, like I, oh, I was, yeah. it, was like okay. a, it was like maybe a year. Okay, okay. Year that I was in the classroom, so I, I like, wasn't. I like, I've never been a teacher, but low-key want to have a classroom. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just want to have a cute classroom. And then I'm going to bring this one down here and make sure you're giving yourself a little bit of space. And if you did this, did this in design space, then you should have already allowed yourself enough room with the sizing of your fonts. I have a yellow feather. What did we do with yellow feathers? Nothing? Oh, we did stuff with yellow feathers a long time ago. <laughs> There's a yellow feather on the end of those scissors, and I've been using them all day. How weird. We did, so um, back in the fall, we had our annual summit for our members. Yeah. And we made, um, we did a head-to-head -head competition with making um, Halloween costumes. And That's so fun. They didn't know what the criteria was and they had to be punny. Punny. Like, punny. They had to use puns. That's hilarious. And Tanner had to um, model them. Uh-uh. Yep. Yep. And one of them was popcorn chicken. So that's where the yellow feathers I'm sure comes in. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so before I actually iron down this bottom one, what I'm going to do is take my name and I'm going to put it on here. I've got orange sticking electrostatic over here. I'm going to put this down just so I know how much space that I need. And with the Miss Johnson, it was a little bit bigger, so I didn't have as much space. But Miss Nichols, I have a little bit more wiggle room. So I can kind of see where the ends of my Miss Nichols is going to hit. So I'm going to iron this down right here, and I'm going to just hold it and remove this. Oopsie. That stuff is very sticky. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go ahead and iron that down. That way I know that I'm not, not giving myself enough room in between the words. So you can just kind of stick that on there. We're not going to iron that on now. We'll actually iron that on after we do our inner circle. Goal. So do you remember, I know that we got that wood piece from Hobby Lobby. Yes. But is that part of the spring collection? Yes. Yes. So it, it, it is. is part of the spring collection. Um, so it was the always, it's one of those like it's 40% off mm -hmm. always. Um, was it like $10, $12 maybe? Oh, it was $21.99, but it was 40% off. So 22 11 is 50 that would be, so right around $12, $13, $14. $14. Yeah, and this is huge. Oh, yeah. This is like a hefty size door sign, I feel like. This is probably as big as I would go for on a door. I mean, unless oh, you have I a don't gigantic. Know that I, would, I don't know that I'd go any bigger on a door. Yeah, I don't think I would either. Yeah. Like a 20-inch or a 24-inch might be a little bit too big. So I'm just making sure this is ironed down really well. And you can kind of check. Like, I'm going to check our first one. Are we overhead? Yep. I'm going to check our first one. To see that it's down. Ooh, she crispy. I love it. This orange looks good on the black. Oh, I yeah. I love it. I'm a believer and oh, I need to iron that part down. So just be careful when you're pulling up that everything's ironed down, especially with all these little bitty letters. Sometimes it's hard to um, get all the teeny tiny areas. So be careful pulling it up. There we go. Beauty. And then we're gonna go down to the bottom and make sure all that is ironed on. Am I still in the camera? Can you see me good? Okay. I'm gonna take this one off. And now, after this, we're gonna paint the circle, everybody. We've made it. We've made it to the part. Okay. So this is our sign. These are still a little warm. I'm gonna go ahead. These are my half circles, okay? Why don't you hop over to the design space and show them how you split your half circles? Yes, I would love to do that. Okay, let's go over here. 
So what Alicia had to do, because, and she touched on this earlier, Cricut does not have the capacity to cut the size circle she needed. Mm -hmm. So what she did is she was able to go in there and split that circle in half so that mm -hmm. it can cut it and she can get her stencil. Yes, and I actually just used, so in Cricut they have half circles. So right here, if you click on the shapes, we've got a half circle right here. And basically what I did, so earlier we made our 18 inch circle, right? And then we went in here and we drew our little middle circle. We need this middle circle split in half. So I've already got it measured out to what I want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little half circle and I'm just gonna admit, I'm just gonna blow it up until it's in line with this left half. And you just kind of have to maneuver it. And you guys may know a better way to do this. There may be a way to split the circles in half, but this is what I found worked easiest for me. And then you can kind of line it up just to make sure that it is, oops, make sure that it is the right size. Um, but you can also just look at the edges. And then just take that and you're gonna duplicate it. And then you're gonna print both or cut both of those on stencil vinyl. Does that make sense to everybody? I think, I think that was pretty I feel like, simple. yeah. Did, would you do it a different way? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Because the was, only other way I would do it, but I like the way that you did it better, um, because it doesn't require you having to actually move those pieces. You can just line it up. The only other way I would have done it is to take um, the, like a something and slice it in half. Yeah. But then I feel like that's a lot. Of, it's a more, more work. Yeah, it's more work. A couple yeah. extra steps that you don't necessarily need. Yes. So now I. D it doesn't make my design heart happy to do it this way because I like things to be exactly exact and y'all know how psycho I am about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, this is just the best way because the, the Cricut just doesn't cut as well as, or it doesn't cut as big as I need it to. And this is the best way that I knew. So basically what I've done, I've got my two little happies here. They look like little watermelons. And I'm just going to peel this off you could technically use this like as a stencil, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this because I don't wanna put sticker over my heat transfer vinyl because I just don't. And y'all know in the crafting world, you can kind of make up the rules. That's why I like crafting because there are none. <laughs> yep. But for the most part, for the most part, there's no rules. Okay, and then what I'll do over here is line this edge up perfectly there and then if you have a pencil a pencil is going to work best for this part is that pretty centered wow first try yep where did i set my pencil that's okay we can I know you just had a pencil i know i just had it in my hand anyways you can use a pencil you could use chalk if you wanted to because it is on chalk paint um and you're just gonna draw a line all the way around it. Now, if you're not using black, um, you'll be able to see this a lot better. Just be careful what color you outline it with, especially like if you're wanting to do a white insert inside circle, you don't wanna use like a Sharpie because it's probably gonna show through a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let's see, is everybody like good? Yeah. Does anybody have any questions so far? Because I feel like... I mean, they really must be into this project because there's not been very many questions. The most Good. recent question we had is somebody asked if there was a way to curve an image. I don't think Cricut has a way that you can curve image. It's just curved text. Oh, yeah. I did see that earlier. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you can do that. And then you so can... What, so what she did is she used the stencil to create her circle. Yes. Which there are so many different ways you can yeah. create circles. Uh, using this stencil is what Alicia found worked best for her. Yes. Um, and that gave her, she was able to move it around, play with it more. Yeah. And, and that's... Another thing about this vinyl, um, this is the stencil vinyl. I've never used this brand. This is the... Um, Starcraft. Yeah, the Star Mask by Starcraft. This is amazing. I'm just pulling it off of here and like, thinking I'm gonna buy some more of this. I need some of this in my and it's life really it's good. so, so nice. There was, um, you used stencil on your, was it on the sign, the one that you made? And, or not the stencil, you use actual vinyl as a stencil. 
Yes. And it did end up bringing some up some it of the did. paint. It did, yeah. That doesn't bring up any of the paint. That's Yeah, and that's the good thing about using stencil vinyl. Um, like we had a something we used, um, permanent vinyl, as our stencil. And it just it sticks a lot more. And especially with wood projects, if you're using permanent vinyl, it's going to pull up your wood grain and it's going to mess up your paint job. You're going to have to go in and touch a lot of things up. So the stencil vinyl is super handy for stuff like this that you're going to be putting it on to something and then taking it back off. And I don't know if you guys have used a lot of stencil vinyl, but I love it. So Mary asked um, what we are creating. So if we want to go to camera one and show her where that wood round is. Yeah. The wood round is what we are creating today, what we're showing you guys. Yeah, this is it. I love it. I need to grab a paintbrush. Sadie, would you mind to grab me a paintbrush really quick? Like and, one of those big wide ones. And that's another thing. If you didn't want to actually paint that on there, if you wanted to use mm -hmm. heat transfer vinyl as your circle, yeah, you could. Yes. Um, the only reason that Alicia did not is because she didn't want to do heat transfer on top of heat transfer. Yes. So and that's why she's doing the paint, the chalk paint. But if you wanted to do um, permanent vinyl on there, I mean, yes. it, you can and yeah. layer your permanent vinyl. The only thing, the only reason that I guess I wouldn't do that is because you have to do it. Thank you, Sadie. Um, because you have to do it in two pieces. And so I thought, oh, I don't want to have a seam, which if you have good heat transfer vinyl and you line it up really well, you may not have a yeah, seam. Yeah, but there's still a chance of you having a seam. Yeah, so I thought... I like the no seam. Yeah, me too. And that's why I was like, this is the best way I feel like that I can get the exact look that I want. So you guys cannot see this, I would if I had to guess. My line is so vague. I can see it, but I feel like you guys probably can't. But I'm just going to go ahead and start painting this circle. And I'm just taking like a smaller flat brush. And I'm going to loosely outline this circle. And then I'll go back in and kind of do more details. But that way you guys can kind of see where I'm working at. Because it's really hard to see what I'm doing over here. And I love working with this chalk paint because it dries so fast. Mm -hmm. That's like the best part of chalk paint. And did so you? Our friend Stephanie said... Cricut can't cut cut big enough. Unfortunately, no, they can't now. But I really am like I'm on the lookout for Cricut's like big machine because yeah, they, they're kind of falling behind in the die cutting world. Yeah, because Silhouette has their 24 inch cutting machine. You've got the U.S. which not a lot of I know Alicia uses the U.S. cutter, but it's there's it's not as popular. But then you've got the Starcraft Solo that has come out that has a a larger cutting um, area. So I'm I'm looking for Cricut to really like step up their game. Yeah, and with you know, their cutting area. They're like the I feel like they're the most used like die cutting machine. I don't know exactly. I think they are for the United States for sure. Okay. Um, I think they have dominated the United States market. Yeah. Um, I don't know that they have officially dominated the worldwide market yet. Really? Yeah. That surprises me. Well, I love Cricut, and I hadn't didn't use it for years and years and years. And I really like it. If they had a big machine, I would be about that. I, mean, I would it's be so eating. user friendly. It really is. Like Cricut is for beginners for sure. Yes, it's so just foolproof. Like you could get in there and make something the day you open it. Like you don't have to sit and kind of piddle around. If that makes sense, it just kind of take prompts you on what to do next. So I do have a question because yes. Mary had a good point. Um, Mary says there's no way that I could stay within the circle line. Okay. So, and I'm just thinking some of our friends may have issues um, with seeing mm -hmm. that stencil line. Yeah. Would it be possible to do the, instead of doing the circle and making the line? Doing the other half? Yes. Yes. It, like, absolutely. Yeah, you can do it that way. I think... Um, like I was saying, this was like one of my first projects. And so I one didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> um, but I was just trying to make it as easy as possible. And I was worried if I put the stencil, which camera are we on, Sadie? Overhead. It, this, I was worried if I stuck it to that, that it would pull up my heat transfer vinyl. That's what I was worried about. But now that I know... Like now that I know how much this sticks to the wood, I would not be that worried about it because the tack, 
like the stickiness of that stencil vinyl is not nearly as strong as if, like if I used a permanent vinyl stencil, uh -huh. it's not nearly as strong, if that makes sense. So the reason that she did not paint first, we had a friend say that you should have painted the center first. The mm -hmm. reason that she did not paint the center first is because she wanted to make sure that those letters were positioned properly um, yes. and then come back in and paint after she had her letters positioned properly. Yes. And so, like, if you're more, com I mean, if you're comfortable centering the circle before the letters, I mean, go for it. Like, I want y'all to do whatever you think would work best. I feel like that is a good idea. I just um, felt more comfortable going ahead and putting the letters on that way because I really want this to be centered. And I'm really bad at measuring things, but I'm really good at eyeballing things. So I, I was really like, good. I can eyeball the center of that and I'll feel, you know, good. But um, what were we talking about? What were we saying to use here earlier? Permanent vinyl? Mm -hmm. You could. But, that, but then you also, you're looking at having that seam. Yes, so that would if be the other. If it's on a bigger one, if you are using a smaller wood sign, seam's not going to be an issue. Yeah, yeah. If you just did something that wasn't, I mean, this is almost 19 inches, so right. this is really big. You could totally use a smaller one, and that might actually be better and easier to actually apply all this stuff. The bigger the sign, I think the harder it is to get everything on there, perfectly centered. That's just my thoughts on it. So we're finishing up this circle. Sue also said you could use a bowl or a pencil and nail in the center, and that would work too, because we actually discussed that. We did. We were talking we about that earlier. That. Yeah. Yeah. So we for sure discussed that. The there are so many different ways you can do it. This yeah. was just one way that Alicia did it, mm -hmm. that we wanted to bring it to you guys. But there's, listen, that's the, that is the beauty of crafting. Yes, absolutely. You do what works best for you. Mm -hmm. We are here to bring you education um, and motivate you and inspire you to make certain things, but you all make it your own. Yes. That is the whole, like, you don't have to do everything just like we, exactly the way that we do it. We are here to bring you um, crafts that we have made and then also. Like here on the line, we're sitting here talking through it together. Yes. yes. There are other ways you can do it. This is just the way that we did it. Yeah. And I love, that's like one of my favorite things. So for years I taught painting classes and I would teach the same thing to everybody, the same exact steps. I was the only person giving instruction and everybody would do it differently. It would come out differently. It wouldn't, like even if you guys followed my steps this to this sign exactly like to the T, your sign's gonna look different than mine. And yeah. I like that. I, that's what I love about painting and crafting is that like it's- that's art. Oh yeah. That's just part of art. Yes, I agree 100%. I'm trying to get this outline done so you guys can see. And then we're gonna dry this with a heat gun. I don't think it, it shouldn't take very long because it's chalk paint and it dries so fast. That is Everybody's the great saying. thing about chalk paint, oh, yeah. is it is a fast start. So this is a little uh, labor intensive, or not, I won't say labor intensive, but you will have to uh, consider dry time. And yes. Things like that. Yeah, there's a little bit. I love putting paint in projects. You, if, I do, if I'm in charge of any projects, I'm going to add paint probably. It's just yeah. in my nature, I think. So we are working our way around. That line is so hard to see, you guys. But if you use a pencil or a, p a chalk would really be good, especially if you're oh, using yeah. black. Would be great. Yeah, I think it's just hard to see because we're on a um, black backer and it makes it a little bit more difficult. Should we go over the special again? Yeah, so if we have any friends here, if you are new to Makers Gonna Learn and you do not, um, you're not a member yet, but you're curious and you want to learn more about it, uh, drop us an emoji, let us know, hey, I'm here, I see you guys, I'm not a member, I'm thinking about it, because we do have a deal going on right now, um, and that is if you sign up as a yearly member, you can use the code MAKE and get $20 off your yearly membership. Yearly membership is you included with yearly membership is you get access to all of our fonts and cut files, all of the amazing things we have on there. There are special courses, masterclasses that you also get access to. 
as well as commercial licensing mm -hmm. to be able to turn around and sell your crafts, which is a huge thing um, for a lot of our members is they are able to sell their crafts um, yep. with that commercial license and fonts get expensive really fast you guys oh my goodness. we have so many fonts like i didn't realize that you could buy or you could have a membership the amount of money that i spent when i first got my silhouette um buying fonts buying fonts and cut files and all this stuff because i just didn't know mm -hmm. i could have paid for two yearly memberships I'm yeah sure. they get really really expensive especially now like I feel like everyone that is into sign making, they've started developing a lot of really cool new fonts and uh -huh. they can be really expensive, especially popular ones that everybody wants. But we have a lot, so many cute fonts. Oh my goodness. So, so many. many. Okay, I'm gonna draw this with a heat gun for a moment. Let's see, I'm plugged in, right? Is this loud? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not, not loud. loud. No, it's not bad. So this should dry. Honestly, I probably should do another coat, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I think we'll just, you know. Yeah. We can go with it. We'll go with it. I cannot find curve in my design space. I have an iPad, no computer. Could that, that be the problem? I'm go I'm looking to see. I've never used design space in, on an iPad. Me neither, but we were just talking about yeah. that you could do that. I'm curious to know. I wouldn't think that it would matter. Would it matter um, what cricket you have? Maybe? No, no, no all the sound space is the same. Hmm. I do know, however, if you are a member, we do have, if you are a yearly member for sure, we have a course that teaches you how to use design space with your iPad, which is a great, great course. Oh, part. I didn't know that. No. Yeah. We've got it all, everybody. Well, we try. <laughs> we try. See how fast this is drying? I love chalk paint so much. I got a little splash over there, but that's okay. We'll paint over it. Happy little accidents. Okay, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think everybody knows, but I have a bobblehead Bob Ross on my desk. We love us some Bob Ross up in here. <laughs> There's even little mini paintings. My little yes. Bob Ross with I know, the painting. I love your little Bob Ross. I love it. So we're about dry. I want to make sure it's really dry before I start ironing on this uh, heat transfer vinyl, especially right through here. We do not want to get any paint on our mini press. These colors look really good. Go balls. Oh, everybody's <laughs> saying that it's only available on the computer. Okay. That's so weird. I wonder why you can't use it on the iPad. Well, hmm. Well, darn. That's really a bummer. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can do it without the curve today. Just for just for our iPad friends, just for Kathy, I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I feel because I've never used Design Space and I've done rounded text before. And so I feel like there's got to be some way to do it. Oh, there is, I'm sure. So the way I'm thinking of you would have to do it is create your circle, however big that your sign is. So mm -hmm. if it's a 10 inch sign, you're going to create your 10 inch circle. And then you would have to go in and do every letter individual and place them individually and then group them all together. Yeah, it would definitely be a much more it lengthy process. It would be process. very more, it would be a whole lot um, more labor intensive. Yeah. But it's doable. Oh yeah, we can make it happen. Okay, I'm dry. This is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this on here. Look how pretty, I love it. I love this font too. Everybody's loving uh, saying they love Bob Ross. My son <laughs> is obsessed with Bob Ross as well. That's hilarious. Um, there are many oh. nights that we will sit, or not sit, but we'll lay in bed and he will watch Bob Ross to go to sleep. And I yeah. love that. What an old soul. Yeah, he is <laughs> He is obsessed with Bob Ross and Westerns. He oh really is Oh my an old gosh, soul. I love that. And he's seven. Stop, yeah. that is hilarious. I think you told me that he liked Bob Ross, but I didn't know about the Westerns. I love that. Yeah. I used to watch those with my great grandmother. I even think they had them on TV anymore. Not very many. Not very many. 
I bet YouTube has lots of Westerns. Okay, I'm just ironing this on the same way that we did the orange text. I'm just ironing it on with my mini press. And I have it on the medium setting. I think you can use the hotter setting, but I worry that my vinyl kind of like shrivels up if I go too hot. But I think the medium setting, especially on that chalk paint after we just painted, is probably the, the best bet. Yes, and I'm praying that this comes up good. So here we go. So you can let it cool down like just a little bit. You can let it sit for a minute. We were talking about this the other day. So some you can is, do a hot pool or, yes. like a, or a cold pool. Yes. So it just depends on the vinyl you use and the medium that you're doing it on. But this one's coming off crispy. You guys know I like my crispy text. It's so crispy. <gasps> Look at that. That is beautiful. Flossy. I don't know which one I like better now. I know. Okay, let's go to the front. Let's go to the one. And we can hold them up. What should we take a vote? Go Vols? Yeah, let's, go let's take a vote. So okay. let's do orange and gray as number one. Yes, yeah, so vote and, one if this is your favorite one. And then the pink and blue as number two. Number two. I don't know. Mm, I like this, but this is still my favorite. Turn around. Oh, yeah. That. I love them both. I feel like the Miss Nichols uh -huh. um, is could be for like a male teacher if you had a male teacher. Yes. You could do that color palette for a male teacher. Or if you had a female or a female teacher who doesn't really like girly colors, but yeah. I, know, I really like the blue. I mean, the, there's like endless color combinations that you I could know. do for this. Okay. So many color combinations. So that's it. You could put like a D-ring hook on the back. Oh, we're getting lots of twos, both. <laughs> one, I saw one. You saw one? I did see a one. Yay. I definitely saw one. Well, there was an orange. Somebody just said orange. Oh, I love it. Well, so if you want, you could put like a D-ring um, hook on the back of this. Just be super careful not to screw through the back into the front. That's all that I'll warn you about because it happens all the time. Or you could probably command, like this is super light. This is a super light wood. So you could probably just use command hooks to hang this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Should we convene at the table? We should convene the table, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, somebody said, too, one looks like it's for a Harley Davidson teacher. Uh, oh, my gosh. I didn't even think about that. That is Harley Davidson colors. It is. It is. We have a high school here that that's their teen colors. Yeah. So that's what we're, that's why high we school use colors. Those. Yeah. Yeah. Gray, male, blush, female, or personal preference for sure. I agree. Like, I, it's yeah. one of those things. I like them both. Mm-hmm. You can really, especially if you're making this for a teacher for, as a gift. Yeah. You can totally personalize, you can personalize it. it. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Love it. Love. The pop of color is nice, and I love both. Okay. So if anybody has any questions, um, now is the time to answer. Mm -hmm. We will go into a short Q&A. Yes. Um, we are glad. Sue says, I want to make one now. If you make one and you are part of Makers Gonna Learn and you are in our Facebook group, um, make sure to pop those pictures in there. Yeah. Do you know what we forgot to do? <laughs> yes, I do. I know what you're about what? to say. The giveaway. The giveaway. Ding, 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 ding. So, last week, we Tanner did a sign. It was a mm -hmm. state sign. And he said... Whoever makes this state sign, because he was he's, he was in love with this he sign. He really was in love with he that sign. He loved that sign. Um, and he said that, okay, we did have a question. It is $20 off right now. That code BEST, you'll use the code, um, that BEST code. I think we forgot to update our description. We'll go back in and update our description in a minute. Mm -hmm. But it's the code uh, MAKE today. For $20 yes. off. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, he told our viewers last last week. It was last Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. A week for a week ago yesterday. Yeah. If they wanted to recreate the sign, drop those pictures on our Facebook group, email. There was tons. All this, all this stuff. Yeah. Um, that we were going to give a hundred dollar Amazon gift card giveaway. Yeah. So. Did we even end up picking a winner? Well, we picked one, but I don't know. Did Caitlin write it? I feel like we... I don't remember. I know. We know which one we picked. Okay. Well, let's find it. Yeah. Let's just pull it up. Let's do this. I love... they. Turn, I was looking through the Facebook page. 
There are so many creative people in that Facebook group. I just cannot believe it. Um, but the one that we picked is like super, super cute. Okay. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. Where are we at? Where are we at? I'm not in the right thing. <laughs> Here I think we it was go. in the group. Yeah, in the Facebook there we group. Go. There she is. Oh. Nope, that's not it either. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. Okay. Let's go. There it is. Found it. Did you find it? I found it. Okay, perfect. <gasps> Wait, is that one new? Oh, girl. That's beautiful. But that's They're all open. so pretty. <laughs> They're all so pretty. I can't. That's I can't. beautiful. I can't. What I can't. The heck? Okay, okay, okay. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is that? So, our winner for yeah. the giveaway for the sign is, and if you're watching, what email us at Hot Makers Gonna Learn. Yeah. If not, we're gonna try to reach out to you. So our winner for today for the hundred dollar Amazon gift card is drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> Miss Katie Morneau. And please let Woo! me know if I said that right. So I would have said that wrong. Katie <laughs> is actually we did it with a state sign. Yes. Katie is from Canada. Katie went above and beyond mm -hmm. and made her own Providence cut fall or Providence like outline. It's so pretty. Yes. Love it. So Katie, if you are watching, you are Good the job. hundred dollar Amazon gift card winner. Yes. Um, we will reach out to you. If, or please reach out to us if you're watching. If not, we will try to reach out to you mm -hmm. um, and get you that ASAP. Let's go back and see if we had any friends that had any questions. I love challenges like that. That's so fun. Because oh, then I you know. get to see all the different variations of what everybody made. I know. Any more questions? I'm not seeing any questions, all guys. Right. If you all have any questions, um, if there are things that come up, if you are not a member but you have a question, you can always email those mm -hmm. to customer service and they will try to get those over to us. Um, and we will try to answer those for, we will answer those for you. Um, customer service email is hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Mm -hmm. Once again, if you are not a yearly member, but you want to jump on board and you want to join our amazing um, community of crafters, and I've said this once and I'll say it again, it's almost worth it just to be in our little private Facebook group because it is such an uplifting mm -hmm. and welcoming and loving community Yeah, um, that is helpful and is there to help each other. And hard to find on Facebook. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so hard to find on Facebook. Yeah. Um, but we um, we would love to have you make sure you click that link mm -hmm. to join our yearly membership. Twenty dollars off using the code MAKE. If not, if that's if you all don't have any other questions, I think that's it. I do. All right. I was. It was so so good to craft with you all today. Can't mm -hmm. wait to see once again. Make sure you post if you recreate this sign. Make sure you post it in our Facebook group. We love to see it. Yes. And. Are we live anymore the rest of this week, or is this it? I think this is it for the this week. This is yeah. it for the week. So we will see, see you guys week. again next week. Yep, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>